Can you leave tally lights, dude? Shh. Welcome to the Designer's Den at AFW. We're back in the Area Rug Gallery, finishing our series on how to design with rugs. You know, when we start thinking about utilizing rugs in our homes, we can create so many unique ways to use a rug. Don't you agree? I do. Linda, I'm so glad you're here with me today. We can help show our viewers how we can utilize rugs in our spaces. Now, one of the, my favorite ways of utilizing rugs is layering, layering rugs. What do you think about that? I love the concept of layering rugs, and mm -hmm. I think it just gives that extra little designer's touch to your space. Yes. So layering rugs really adds a wonderful design element to any room. Now, whether you are layering different sizes of rugs or laying different textures of rugs to create warmth and style. You know, I think when you're layering rugs, texture is the key. What do you think about that? I agree. Completely. Yes. yes. Like with, whether you're layering like a jute and a wool rug. And perhaps a sisal with a pattern rug. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then even like what we're doing today, we're layering a patterned rug with a really beautiful cowhide. Yes, and I love what you've done. The colors are wonderful here and the textures are great. Well, when you're layering rugs though, we know that they define spaces and, but what we don't want to do is make our layers too high because we don't want it to be too bulky, right? Or a tripping hazard. Yeah, we don't want you to hurt yourself. No, and I can do that on my own without <laughs> having the rug complicated even more. Yeah, and we don't want that unsightly bulk, right? Exactly. But you know, when you're layering rugs, it really gives you an opportunity to really show your personality. So I think we should have fun with I, it. I agree. Yeah. So we have one, uh, this wonderful layering rug area here in this beautiful seating area. Shall we look yes, at it? We should show them. Let's look at it. Well, we started off here. We've got two wonderful, our Coburn uh, metal accent chairs. And I just love these. They have this really nice defined black metal arms, really sleek, a horizontal channel back mm. to them and this wonderful durable leather-like look. I love it. And you know, I have these chairs in my own house and I love them. They're so comfortable. And even my kitty cats, they love it. Oh, so they're pet proof too. They are pet proof. Well, Wonderful. At least they have been really good on them and I haven't had any issues with it. So well, your home looks fabulous. Well, so I know you. these chairs look great in there. Um, and we also have it anchored with one of our Sunny Designs Larkin tables with the really neat wood iron combo. But let's take a look at this layering of rugs, oh, shall yes, we? Yes, Definitely. so we started out with this amazing eight by 10. This is our Montville uh, multicolored eight by 10 rug. And we just love this one because it has such a pop of color. It has this overall abstract uh, rustic feel. And then that modern flair using the mustard colors, the yellows, the golds, the orange and the gray and blue tones. It's just a really fun way of bringing that modern feel to a rustic look. Yeah. I love the hide that you've chosen. It's just, it, it works perfectly with this rug. Yes, this hide, it is beautiful. It's one of our Brazilian authentic seven by six hide, hair on hide rugs. It is just so authentic and so beautiful, wonderful value. And I just love the brown tones all throughout and even the natural markings. I, I love the natural markings. I've also liked how you angle the rug on top of this other rug. It's just great. Mm -hmm. Gives it a little designer touch. And even the spine of the hide works perfectly with the angle of the chair. So like a little bit of thought was, or I should mm -hmm. say little, maybe a lot of thought was put in, but it helps <laughs> Thank all you, the pieces come together really nicely. Yeah, so it just really pulls it all together. It makes the seating areas nice and cozy. I agree. So this is our wonderful example of layering rugs. But when I also think about utilizing rugs, Linda, you know, the way that they're building homes these days are with these really wide open, open floor plans. And so I think people are always wondering, like, can I put uh, multiple rugs in this area? And how do I do that? I think that's a really big concern of people. They, uh, they come in and ask, like, well, how do I do this? What do I do in this room? Because mm -hmm. rugs anchor. 
an mm -hmm. area. So it really helps when you have these big rooms to kind of define the Define the spaces. spaces, yes. So one, yes, you can use the same rug and repeat it. There is no reason why you can. And that's pretty much the obvious, right? Just exactly. use matching rugs everywhere. Matching rugs. Okay. Or you can be a little creative, kind of go out of okay. the box. You know, I say color outside the lines uh -huh. <laughs> and coordinate some rugs together. So okay, I think so we coordinating. Can coordinating. It's, it's a different way of matching. Yes? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we have an open room concept. We've coordinated some rugs and this one basically is a, I would say a color story. Okay. Um, we've used like modern okay. along with some rustic, so a modern rustic look. So we've just created our own open floor plan with exactly. a seating area and a dining area. So when I see most open floor plans, that's what they have and they're just kind of this big open space. Yes. And I love this rug that we chose it kind of reminds me of the canyons this kind of that gorgeous. feeling and the colors yes. so you can see like the blue like the sky the canyon colors of the mm -hmm. rust color so i really love how this brings in that kind of modern rustic feeling. Yes. I love how it works along with our pieces in here. So our sofa, I yes. really love it. We have this Luca whiskey, all leather sofa and love seat here. It's just in this really beautiful whiskey tone, brown tone, and it's accented with these wonderful cowhide uh, pillows here that also pull that warmth out. And I love how we've accented with our wonderful Larkin tables again, these mm -hmm. nesting tables with its weathered, warm brown tones uh, mixed with the other medium of a black nice metal. So mm -hmm. it's really a neat uh, play on a rustic modern look. And then it's anchored so nicely with our landscape natural eight by 10 area rug, like you said, has these beautiful earth tones of canyon colors. It just brings the outside in to me. Exactly, and then I love that our accessories kind of pull together some of those colors. So it just adds a little a final touch little to pop, the space. Yes. Exactly. So now we've opened up into our dining area. Correct. So then how do we coordinate here? Well, I think the big thing is you want colors that coordinate. So okay. orange, or I would even like to say it's the burnt orange kind uh -huh. of color. That rust it, color. That rust color. Mm -hmm. It's actually in both of the rugs. So I okay. really feel like that helps like make the space feel a little more cohesive. Mm -hmm. And you can see also the other colors. I really love the charcoal color within this okay. rug. And I think it really ties in nicely with the table. Yes, this is our wonderful retreat trestle table. Um, it has that really nice weathered ash finish to it, and it has our X uh, pedestal in the iron, Which and that I black that iron pedestal. plays so nicely af off of the uh, charcoal rug that we have here. Exactly. And you can also tell the style. So again, it kind of has that little bit of a modern mm -hmm. touch to it, um, so it helps the two rugs kind of tie together. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's a really, really good, mm -hmm. you know, color story together. And lo I love this bench here. It's so versatile. It's I'm, got lots of versatile seating there. You I'm can really slide partial in. to having benches at the table because mm -hmm. I really think it adds um, just additional seating. Mm -hmm. um, I love how it's lower in the front and higher in the back. So some mm -hmm. areas it really speaks well that you don't have the chairs blocking the table. Yeah, it kind of opens and it up. And you can see your base too. Yeah, so and then you can just anchor it with the classic uh, set of end, end, end chairs here. Exactly. Well, one thing I want to point out is we should really, we do recommend here at AFW is to use a rug pad under your area rugs. I think it's really great to use it. Um, can you tell, uh, you know, our viewers like why the reason we use a well I mean rug pad? a rug pad is really great because it keeps your rug in place it keeps it from shifting and moving and it also protects the floors underneath it wow so it's a really good thing then to incorporate a pad yes. so it's sometimes things that people miss but it really has a really good right. purpose. And they are a great value. This is our premium uh, rug pad here at AFW. It has great value. And uh, you, should, you should actually pick up one with every rug that you uh, order or purchase. So the other rug that I always find that people need are runners. Oh, and usually that's a great idea. big spaces, mm -hmm. either you have an entry that goes mm -hmm. in the room, maybe a hallway that is nearby. So I always feel like because you always wonder, what should you put here exactly. in this heavy traffic area? Exactly. Yes. So, so let's look at that. Yes, you can. Again, you can use the same type of rug. You can use the same style, mm -hmm. or you can again pick something different. I love how this one looks different, but it mm -hmm. really, really connects nicely with the rest of the yes. rugs in the space. This so the looks colors like anchor. a wonderful, like a sunset to me. 
I love that thought. Yes. yes. So we have the canyons with the sunset together. I love that. I love that. And it's really nice. It's really accenting well off of this wonderful console that we have. It's a 64 inch high boy console. It has the charcoal and wood double tone here. And one of the wonderful things that has character is these wonderful barn doors. And we have stylized it to be a buffet. So we cross used a console and turned it into a server. Which I really think is valuable to know that you don't have to necessarily use a buffet as a buffet. Right. Or the piece in the pieces. collection. Yes. So it's really nice that you can actually coordinate something different. Yes, and I love how you, we've placed the runner here right in front of it, just anchoring it and also allowing for the traffic pattern here. So it could be the concept of even if, let's say, you have this piece in a hallway right. and how you have a runner in your hallway. So look at how it all coordinates together. I just love how all the motion and the simplicity. And you see of the, the rust color table. story. Yes. And all three rugs. So coordinating. Coordinating. Using kind of the same color story throughout, right? Exactly. I love that. I just love that we have this wonderful open floor plan with three different rugs and it still works. It works really well. Thank you, Linda. Oh, you're welcome. I think this has been a great series of us talking about how to design with area rugs, how to utilize them in your space, whether you're layering rugs or just coordinating three rugs in the same space together. That's amazing. I, I think we've learned a lot today. So, but we really would love to see you join us next week as we talk about cool versus warm. Which one do you prefer? I think we'll wait and find out. And as always, everything that we featured here and more, you can find at AFW.com or any of our American Furniture Warehouse. Thank you.